Hi everyone, this is Joy and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is for Spellbinders and I'm actually gonna show you how I modified the small die of the month, the Spring Flowers card creator to fit my design. Now here is the die. And you know, Spellbinders has always has these beautiful dies and we've seen these card creators before and, and this is just gorgeous. So you've got your edge pieces, you've got that little round connector piece, the flower pieces, you've got leaves, you've got some sentiments that says spring has sprung. It's super, super cute and it's such a great deal. So here are all the little pieces that come with it. But I wanted to modify this die just a little bit. I love the traditional look of it, but I just felt inspired to do something different. So I die cut four pieces and I die cut that from the gold mirror cardstock and the gold touch cardstock. I also die cut Lagoon Rose, or excuse me, Lagoon Rose Quartz and Coral in some flowers. And so I'm keeping my color scheme pretty simple. So what I'm actually going to do is show you how this lays out originally. So you've got your edge pieces here. This, you know, makes a good A2 size card. So you've got your little edge pieces there. I'm showing you with the die, the connector pieces that you're going to add on the side there. And look how beautiful. That is so, so pretty. But I'm not going to do it that way this time. I'm actually going to change this around. So I'm going to cut off those connector pieces off of the dies. I'm going to center it in the center like this and actually give myself a circle that's going to fit inside of the card. So I'm just going to trim off all of those little side pieces. Really super, super easy. And I'm going to add some mirror cardstock behind this. I'm keeping this with the gold, the turquoise, and the pink theme. I just think that's a really super pretty color scheme. So that's what I'm going with today. So I'm here adhering the gold mirror cardstock behind the gold touch cardstock. The Gold Touch is a glittery cardstock. It's actually, I think, my favorite. It's so, so beautiful. And so I'm going to glue those together, offsetting it ever so slightly so you can see that gold mirror cardstock behind it, almost like it's a shadow. So I'm going to do that for all four pieces. Now that that's done, I'm going to add my decorative flowers to the front. I'm just coming in with some liquid glue. These, there are some flowers that don't match the design on this background card creator, and then there are some flowers that do. So you can have a different look. So I'm using the smaller flowers, and I'm just gonna glue those down, and I'm using, again, for the flowers, Lagoon, Rose Quartz, and Coral. These are all a shimmery cardstock. These are from Cardstock Warehouse. So this whole card has a shimmery feel to it. So I'm just going to add those down, and each little square that I'm doing has holds six flowers. I'm going to come in with the with the lagoon and add the little dot so it looks like little budded flowers. And so that's what I'm doing here. And again, I'm going to do this for all four of the cards. Isn't that cute? I'm going to finish this off by adding in the little centers of the flowers with alternating colors. And those already die cut together when you're die cutting out all of these flowers. And so this makes a really beautiful back panel. It's super simple. It's just some die cutting, which is really, really easy and kind of therapeutic. If you're just, you know, wanting to make a bunch of these cards, you can sit in front of the TV and just die cut away. And now that that panel is done, I'm going to do all four. So for this background, I wanted to add a little something else. So I'm actually prepping it with an anti-static powder tool because I don't want to get embossing powder everywhere. I'm coming in with my Versamark ink, any kind of uh, clear embossing ink works, and just lightly dragging it around the edge of this card. I'm going to sprinkle on my gold embossing powder. And you can see I have a couple spots that I had a, got a little happy with the glue there. So I'm just coming in with a paintbrush and brushing off the embossing powder that I don't want and just kind of evening it out. I don't want it too even. That's the whole point of dragging your uh, ink pad across the edges. So I'm going to heat that up with my heat gun and I like to make sure my heat gun is nice and hot before I take it to my paper. I just want as minimal amount of warping as possible. So I'm going to heat that until it's melted and it just gives that background a really beautiful decorative gold shiny edge. And I just love watching embossing powder melt. It's so, so pretty. So now that that's done, we're going to stamp out the sentiment. And I'm just using the happy from the stamp of the month. 
and I'm stamping that onto the coral cardstock and I'm just going to be doing some gold embossing on this. And I'm just prepping that with an anti-static powder tool. And this, I'm st I have to mask off part of the sentiment because I only want the word happy. So I'm just masking that off, inking it up with my Versamark ink, removing the masking tape, stamping it down on my cardstock. And now I'm just gonna use my gold embossing powder again. And then I'm just gonna trim that out. Now, one of the dies that comes in the Spring Flowers card creator is the word spring. I die cut that three times from the rose quartz no excuse me from the coral cardstock excuse me i apologize for that and i'm going to glue those three together this is going to give it some dimension without adding some foam tape behind it i did however add foam tape behind all four of these panels just where the flowers are little tiny pieces of foam tape i'm just going to gently set that down in my card i'm just I'm not pushing all the way down yet because I need to be able to adjust these to make sure that they're even. So I'm just lightly setting them down and then I can do a little bit of tweaking, making sure everything is nice and level. Then I'm going to put full pressure on it to get everything to adhere down. So you can just see I need to adjust there. So I'm glad I did not stick it all the way down. I always make that mistake and this time I didn't. But isn't that turning out so, so pretty? Now I'm going to add the sentiment with a little bit of liquid glue, the word spring right in the center of those panels coming in with my gold heat embossed sentiment with a little bit of foam tape is going to go right above that and then this card is completely done it's a super simple but beautiful card look how that turned out isn't that so so gorgeous thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching if you like what you've seen please subscribe to my channel i do have some affiliate links below they cost you nothing but it helps me and i'll see you later bye